Anyways, fifth fret B, fifth fret E, you're gonna do that twice. Oops. You may have to pick a little harder than you're used to. We're on the clean channel. Um, next one is natural harmonics tw uh, 12th fret D, G. And then on this one, 12th fret B, he's either picking it and then he has a whammy bar that he pulls up and down or he's pressing behind the nut or possibly bending the neck. But I don't, I don't think uh, it sounds like a whole step ascending bend release, which uh, is probably going to knock me out of tune, but I got to show you, you would go. It would be a... Okay, if you don't have a lock system. If you have access up here without being locked out, you can just, you know... Wow, he stayed in tune. Cool. Anyways, that, that was a cool part. Right after that, it's actually a secondary guitar, but we have time to grab it. Last three strings, two, one, open. Very ambient with their effects. Uh, natural harmonics at 503, top of page four. Fifth fret strings one and two. And then that's it for our clean stuff. Um, let's see. And then a series of repeats at 513. The solo, actually I'm gonna stay on the delay for this. Really melodic, cool solo here. Fret 10 on the B. By the way, you can change the fingering around, Jerry. I tried to give you ideas of what I'm comfortable with, but um, it's not always, it doesn't always have to be the same fingering. Sometimes, yes, but uh, not necessarily in this, especially a slower melody. So we're going to slide to 15. Oops. 10th fret, high E, slide to 14. I, I would use index here, though. Pick again, half step. We're gonna bend it and release it. It's got a rest though, you're gonna go. Then you'll go 14, 15, 17 on the E. To 15 B vibrato and slide. You'll see double dots um, at that 10 on the high E, you'll just start it over. Does it four times. And then I think on the fourth one I heard a pinch harmonic like, uh, um, wait, where do we start? Somewhere there. I wouldn't sweat it a whole lot with that. Um, then more repeats at 628. There's only one more rhythm and it's the last rhythm of the song. And here's what you're looking at for that. Reminds me of Pantera or something. Um, Okay, so five on the top string, slide to seven, vibrato. Which in this tuning, man, you shouldn't have too much trouble shaking that string, but vibratos are tricky. It's something that people normally have to, uh, over time, they just wind up realizing they're doing it, but it's like a little mini bend, you know, and try and keep it consistent. And then 9A, slide to 12, do the same thing. So we have... And then third fret up top, slide to five, vibrato. 4D, slide to nine, vibrato. All right, so you have, uh, we have. Okay, so that's it, man. Great song. I really loved uh, both your choices, dude. I'm, I, I like all styles, man. So to me, um, I don't come across that a whole lot with my students. 
Well, I do, but just not not a, not a whole lot. Um, last point I wanted to make. Uh, you heard me talking about pickups. Because they're playing a baritone, I wanted to try and do my best with the tools I have here to copy and get as close to that tone as possible. So through most of this lesson, I was using my neck pickup. Okay, so just toggle switched it up, give you that bassier sound. I EQ'd my, which you'll have the EQ settings in your edits. They already ran through. So um, I wanted to keep that real fat, low bottom end sound which we were gonna get anyways because how low the tuning was, but they're not a high-end frequency guitar tone band, you know, for rhythms. So experiment, I don't know what type of guitar you have. Um, and the clean channel, you know, when you're hitting the harmonics and stuff, they're, they cut, cut through a lot clearer on the bridge pickup, you know, so if you're not getting, if you're struggling to get those natural harmonics to sound right, switch to your bridge pickup when you're playing those, all right? Appreciate it, dude. Um, let me know if there's any more work that you got. It's fun work, dude, and I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you soon.